through PCT route, probably this information may not be available. And we can give this information at the time of prosecution. That is the only silver lining we have. But this is an extra requirement or a burden on the applicants. Sometimes the substantially enhanced efficacy could be same as an inventiveness, but need not be. It can be a different also. And uh, the factors like less to toxicity and reduced side effects is left open. Whether it, can it be also considered for patentability? That is left open. Probably we believe that it could be. And uh, some of the expressions uh, has not been clarified. So this is some of that. Unfortunately, what happened, this case went without evidence. And uh, as a result, uh, in some areas, we can keep this as precedent, uh, but not in all other facts. Another one is the Sutton case, wherein it was a post-grant. The controller heard the matter and rejected the case that it lacks inventive step, or it is obvious. There was a procedural error here where in a post-ground opposition, they always constitute an uh, opposition board. And the opposition board makes a recommendation to the hearing officer, the controller who hears the matter. And in that particular case, we ask for a copy of the recommendation of the board. But the hearing officer refused to give that. And she conducted the hearing and copied the entire recommendations of the board and rejected the case. We went to uh, the High Court. The High Court said, sorry, you should have given a recommendation to the parties because anything which influences the mind of the controller should have been shared with the parties. And then send the case back to the controller. And they went for an appeal up to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court said that, yes, you should have given a copy and taken the views of those people. And you can't just sumo to reject that application. And the Supreme Court struck down the controller's order and asked her to rehear the matter. She gave us a copy of that, uh, the opinion. Re she reheard the matter. Again, she rejected the case on the basis of lack of inventive step. We went for an appeal to the IPAB, Intellectual Property Appellate Board. The appellate board said that, no, the, the decision is not all right. She, they struck down even the opposition board, and then also transfer the case to altogether a new hearing officer. That is a stage now it's lying there. So altogether a new hearing officer and a new board, opposition, post-ground opposition board. It is now there with the panel office. We do not know how the new board going to consider uh, our case, and then also the new hearing officer. Whereas this case has been granted in 112 countries, and the FDA approval has been granted in under 97 countries. Some of the patent strategies. So we have a pre-grant and a post-grant. We have a very large window of uh, pre-grant from date of publication till the date of grant. So we always advise to try to get an early grant as quick as possible, and then also meet all the mandatory provisions. We have some of the draconian provisions like Section 8. The foreign patent, patent details will have to be given. So we need to meet that one. And then the in vivo efficacy, at least something on animal data we need to provide. A comparative data we have to provide. The closest and the relevant prayer art compound versus the novel compound which we try, try and claim will have to provide it. And then also uh, uh, some of the other things, if you have a, a very broad Markush uh, group, Markush claim or a structure, don't have a Markush structure with half a million compounds. Rather, simultaneously you file an application, half a dozen application, with few compounds in each Markush group. Then it will be easier for you to substantiate that. And then also, uh, some of other things uh, like Selection patent is still recognized in India. You can file a selection patent. And uh, process patents. When you have a compound, when you claim compounds, then you have a lot of problems. But if you have a process, then it will sail through. 
So you can very well have a process patent as a, as a supplement, as a support for the compound. And uh, avoid uh, some of the expressions like derivatives and discovery, etc., etc., in your patent text, in the specification. And of course, finally, uh, show cause that you are interested in your patent and you are really alive and kicking on the patent for the reason that if you simply show that you have a uh, blocking patent, you will have a problem. So after getting a patent, see to that you commercialize it. Make it affordable and accessible of the product, especially the life-saving drug. And uh, these are some of the uh, few of the thoughts I would like to share uh, because we, I would like to conclude, we have other uh, long panel of speakers, and then uh, we have the next speaker.